my name is Rémi Boudreau, owner of Expressions Painting, and today I'm going to show you how to repair drywall like a pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair drywall, minor drywall repairs. And to begin with, one of the most common one you'll have to do is wherever nails were. And as easy as this repair may seem, it's actually the one where we see the most mistakes. Is First of all, because it's so small, people will just usually go and put mud right on it like this. The problem is that when you remove the nail, the paper from the drywall actually sticks up. So the, the texture will be different, it will absorb the paint differently, and will leave a little mark. So what you want to do is you want to scrape and then bang in the, the parts that are coming out so that you're working your way down and up. And then what you'll do is you take the drywall compound, put it on, but then scrape it all off. Too often we see people try to build it up like this and then say to themselves they'll sand it to, to make it flush. The problem is that you're going to be sanding way too much and then that's going to create dust everywhere, more so than it needs to. Whereas if you just scrape it off like this, you'll need to put one more coat, but then when you get to the sanding part, there'll be almost no work and no dust necessary. Another type of repair you'll often have to do is removing and repairing where a drywall plug was. The problem that I often see, however, is that people give themselves too much uh, work and too much trouble and also the way that they typically do it uh, makes uh, the drying of the mud last way too long. My proposition for this is to simply scrape the top, what's sticking out, with a tool like this and then once more bang in the excess that's sticking out this will allow uh, this will make sure that the hole is not too big so that the mud will not have to fill in a bigger hole unnecessarily and this takes the mud a tremendous amount of time to dry if you do it that way but this way just a small repair which should dry within a half an hour to 45 minutes and then we'll be ready for a recoat now that we've put a couple coats on these repairs, the next thing is will, will be the, the sanding part. And what I recommend is one of these sponges for sanding. And the reason is because the sponge will actually absorb the pressure from the hand and make an even pressure. If you use uh, paper, sandpaper with your hand, the problem is that where your fingers are, it will be too much pressure and the finish is not going to be as even. So you take one of these, just a light feather like this. And when I was saying that when you just do a light skim and you scrape it all off, sure you'll have to put a second coat, but when it comes time to sanding, as you've seen, there's almost no sanding and barely no dust. Now that all the repairs are sanded, the next step before even applying the wall paint is to prime those small areas. Um, and to do so, you can use either a drywall primer, or in this case, because we were using flat ceiling paint for the ceilings, I simply uh, left my tray and roller out because essentially drywall primer is very close to ceiling paint in the sense that they're both flat paint. And that's what you want is no shine because it will give, it will help the small area here have a bit more texture because of the flat. Uh, it will dry quicker and uh, so that the blend in from this texture to here will be seamless or as, as seamless as it can be. If you have a really older wall with a lot of layers of paint, 
The problem is that when you repair an area such as this, this tiny area will be flat and smooth in comparison to the rest of the wall. And a, a tip to, to help with that, although you can't get a perfect blend in, but to help is you want to sand a little bit further around with that same sponge to help um, break down the texture of this paint. So now we just want to prime simply on the areas. Uh, we don't have to paint the entire wall, of course, just where we painted, just where we did the repair, sorry. So you start just by spreading the paint a little bit uh, everywhere because the roller has uh, quite a bit of paint on it. And then you just feather out with the roller as such.